in the Reiner Report tonight, a bill that would make child trafficking a serious felony is being reconsidered. This after mounting pressure from the public and Governor Gavin Newsom. Keep in mind, the bill failed in committee just days ago. ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics and has a closer look at this controversy. Chris and Laura, SB 14 is a bipartisan bill that passed the Senate by a vote of 40 to 0. Then it got to the Assembly and it failed in a key committee, sparking outrage among many who said this is common sense. So much so that the committee was forced to vote on it again. Senator Shannon Grove authored SB 14, which would classify trafficking of a child as a serious felony under the law. This bill is very narrowly tailored to only affect those individuals that traffic minors and have a repeat offense. My bill won't even take place as a strike until a second serious or violent felony is on their record. The bill failed to pass the Assembly Public Safety Committee Tuesday, garnering reaction from Governor Newsom himself. I talked to Senator Grove about it this morning, which is indicative of my desire to see what we can do. Even Elon Musk, who has 147.8 million followers, weighed in, saying how is this not already a serious felony? What kind of signal are we sending to people who, we, who elect us if we can't pass a bill to hold child traffickers accountable? Colleagues, today we have a choice to make. You can choose a team, pick pedophiles or children. Thursday morning, Republicans tried to bypass the committee and bring the bill to the floor for a vote, but Democrats instead voted for an emergency committee hearing right after session for the bill to be voted on again. This is not debatable. The hearing lasted just a minute and 25 seconds. The measure passed by a vote of 6 to 0, with two deciding not to vote on it. Aye. Joan Sawyer, aye. Committee Chair Assemblymember Reggie Joan Sawyer changed course, voting in favor of it this time around. We got to stop these repeat offenders. They cannot get out in one year. We got to just stop it. And we need to find out why. And so we're, this will give us some time to garner that information, figure out what, what we need to do. It's not often Republicans score a win as big as this one. Because many Democrats are starting to say, look, this, this policy that we've had for years, this, this failed criminal justice experiment um, that we've had in this state for the last eight years, it can't continue. We can't have lawlessness. We have to have accountability. As for the two who decided not to vote on the bill, Democratic Assemblymember Isaac Bryan tweeted saying the people most vulnerable to being charged with trafficking are the victims of trafficking themselves. Grove said she addressed that concern by taking out the word violent and only making it a serious felony. She said she's taken every step to make sure that's not what this bill does, guys. Mm -hmm. Governor weighs in yesterday. Today they take this action. A lot of back and forth. So what comes next in this case? So the bill still has to go through another committee. If it passes that committee, it'll go to the assembly floor for a full vote. But then it still has to go back to the Senate. And then if it passes to the governor's desk. Something we are going to be following. Morgan, thank you.